A week ago, most people had never heard of an online currency exchange known as Mt. Gox, but it has suddenly become the subject of international interest, and its recent turn of fortune is prompting many questions about the future of the virtual currency Bitcoin. Hari Srinivasan has the story. Mt. Gox CEO Mark Karpels issued his mea culpa before news cameras in Tokyo today. There was a weak area in the system, and as a result, we lost bitcoins. I am deeply sorry that I have caused trouble to everyone. His website had been one of the largest online exchanges for the digital cryptocurrency known as bitcoins. Bitcoins are generated or mined by computers, solving math problems that become ever more complex and time consuming. The site went offline Tuesday amid allegations of major theft. And Carpels acknowledged today he can't account for 850,000 bitcoins. That's almost 4% of all the bitcoins that will ever be mined, and their value at about $425 million. The catastrophic loss prompted picketing this week outside the company's Tokyo offices. I had 311 bitcoins in there, which at the time uh, of before this started was worth about $300,000. So it looks like that's disappeared. Bitcoins were created in 2009 to enable anonymous cross-border transactions without third-party oversight or expensive transaction fees, and their value soared in recent months. Some entrepreneurs even set up ATM-like vending machines to distribute a hard version of the currency. But security concerns and Bitcoin's use in money laundering caught the eye of world regulators. In October, U.S. officials shut down the Silk Road, a major online marketplace for drugs and other illegal products based purely on Bitcoin transactions. Today, Japan's finance minister said the Mt. Gox collapse wasn't unexpected. I really wondered whether this would continue. I thought it would indeed go bankrupt at one point, but it has indeed happened quickly. Supporters of Bitcoin say Mt. Gox is an isolated case and that virtual currencies still have great potential.